Hey guys, today's tutorial video I'm gonna be showing you how to edit your Markar 7 save which gives you the ability to unlock everything such as the cards, tires, gliders, character, and tracks, and the ability to edit your VR for Markar 7 online even though the online play is shut down but with the use of Pretendo if you have that. And by the way, in order to do this, you need to have a modded 3DS or 2DS for this guide otherwise if you have not yet modded your 3DS or 2DS then stop watching this video and go to this website right here. 3DS .hacks.guide. The link will be in the description down below and yes, always use the written guide when it comes to modding Nintendo consoles like the 3DS or Wii U. Never ever use video tutorials because it's an easy way to brick your system if you end up doing something wrong. So here it is. For today's video, we're gonna rely on the GitHub. However, you can do Mark's version of Mark Kart 7 save game editor if you like, but you have to rely on the system 0 dot file if you're wondering where to get it. It's from the checkpoint application, which if you don't know what that is, it allows you to to back up your 3DS game save data and as well as restore save data as well which you should have it from the 3ds.hacks.guide finalizing setup. If you want to check out his uh, website the link will be in the description down below if you go to save game editor you can do switch games like Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, Smash Bros Ultimate which I believe you need to have a modded switch in order to do this but you can do 3DS games like Animal Crossing New Leaf, Kid Icarus Uprising, Sushi Striker, Pokemon Shuffle, Mario Kart 7, Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix as Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix is the PAL version, Kirby Blowout Blast, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe for the 3DS, Super Kirby Clash for the Switch, and last but not least, Street Pass Me Plaza, which I already covered this video, which I'll put the link in the description down below if you're interested to watch that video. But for now, let's get on with the GitHub. So let's click on it. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description down below. As I said before, you can edit the VR, change note of loses, wins, coins, whatever, unlock everything like the characters, cards, tracks, tires, and gliders. And here are the steps of what you're supposed to do and if something happens i'm not responsible if your system gets banned or if your save game gets corrupted so if you don't want to lose everything just back that up first before you do this so go ahead and click on this link there's two ways to download this 3ds x file that goes into the homebrew launcher or in the cia that goes in your home screen so let's go ahead and download the 3ds x version because i like to have it on the homebrew launcher which is convenient and better so i'm gonna download those two just in case once you're done downloading the mark Kart 7 save editor either in the CIA or the 3DS X file, take out your SD card from your system and put it in on your computer. Once your SD card is inserted on your computer or your laptop, go ahead and copy your 3DS X file to the 3DS folder if you're doing it. Or for those of you with CIA, if you do not have the folder for CIA on your root of your SD card, right click, click new, and click folder and call it CIA, whatever you want to call it. When you're done, go ahead and copy the CIA file in the CIA's folder from your root of your SD card. When that's done, go ahead, eject your SD card from your computer. It is recommend you click this so that to avoid any corruption. Once you inserted your SD card back in your system, for those of you with the CIA version of Markar 7 Save Editor, go to FBI, go to SD, CIAs, and here it is, which I'm not going to download it because I already have it in the 3DS X file that goes into the homebrew launcher. So I'm just going to delete this. So if we go to 3DS, Here's Mark R7 SC 3DS X file. For those of you who have the cartridge version of Mark R7 but don't want to lose it, I would recommend you go to Checkpoint and back it up just in case. Go find your Mark R7, press A, press the L button or the A button to create a new backup. But since I already have a CJ Mark R7, which is his backup, I'm gonna press the L button to back it up. When that's done, go ahead and close Checkpoint. For those of you who have the digital version of Mark R7 that you purchased through the 3DS eShop, as my sister's old 2DS cup with Mark R7 pre installed, go to System Settings, Data Management, 3DS, Save Data Backup, and click Backup. Go find your Mark R7 and click on it. Make sure the 3DS Data Management Backup has enough blocks because otherwise, if it's full, then you have to delete whatever you have that you're not using anymore. Since I already have it, we're going to overwrite it, like so. Click OK. This will take a while. And it's saved. When that's done, close system settings. Now let's go ahead and launch the homebrew launcher and find Mario Kart 7 Save Editor. If you're wondering where I got the pirate launcher, it's from the Universal Updater. Go ahead and click on it. As you can see, this is compatible with Europe, America, and Japan. If you have the Korean, the Chinese, or Taiwanese version of Mario Kart 7, then this is not compatible. Go ahead and click America, 
as this is my sister's American Red 2DS. As you can see, you can edit no coins, no win, no lose, edit the VR, unlock everything, like the tracks, characters, cart, tires, and glider. We're gonna do three of them. Unlock all the gliders, unlock all of the tires and the carts. I'm not gonna do no VR because, you know, I just wanted to do these three. When that's done, press the start button to save it. And sometimes it does freeze, but if it happens, just power off your device by pressing the power button to hold it and this will turn off your system. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, press the home button and go ahead and launch Mario Kart 7. You can also do CTGP7 if you like, but I'm gonna do Mario Kart 7 and see if the gold cart is unlocked. Click Mario Kart channel. There it is. I'm not sure what's missing, but that's okay. Here it is. There's the gold cart. As my sister 2DS has the gold cart in Mario Kart 7, but want it in CTGP7, you can download the CTGP7 save transfer tool. Where to get it? It's from the Universal Updater. I recommend you download it so that you can transfer the save data from Mario Kart 7 to CTGP7, which is very convenient so that you don't have to start over from the beginning. When that's done, press the home button and go ahead and launch CTGP7. Which for an old 3DS, I know it does load slowly, but who knows. Go ahead and launch CTGP7. I like the new loading screen. Pretty cool. Let's go to Mario Kart channel and see if we have the gold cart. Since I transfer all the data from Mario Kart 7 to CTGP7. Here it is, the go kart and CTGP7 as I transfer everything from Mario Kart 7 to CTGP7. So yeah, that's the tutorial of the Mario Kart 7 save editor, which gives you the ability to change the VR and unlock everything like the cart, the tire, and the glider. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and then I'll see y'all next time.